Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic core banking system. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in banking industry, fintech, and uh, you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. Friend, core banking system or CBS is a very common term, and I am sure that if any person uh, belongs to uh, banking industry or ever ever he has worked in any bank, so he has definitely heard about this topic or this term core banking system so now friend what is actually a core banking system core banking system is the primary information system in a banking institution that supports and automates the bank's most essential banking features it acts as the central nervous system of the bank managing core banking processes and facilitating seamless communication among various departments and branches so uh, friend you can just think of this uh, as the heart of the system heart of the banking system and basically it's a software which basically running all the operations all the systems of the bank so the whole bank is basically based on this software that is called as core banking system if you just see the term core banking system that means core that means the main system in the bank is the cbs now we uh, we can talk about the components of features of the core banking system first one is the customer information management uh, customer profile Friend, a CBS store and manages customer information including the account details, KYC, that means know your customer information and transaction history. So that means all the accounts which are opening in, in a bank are basically storing in the core banking system. All the customer information, account details reside in the core banking system. Then account management enables the creation modification and closure of customer account we know friend that at one time a uh, customer open the account then uh, he can modify for example you have opened the current account in a bank uh, you may open you can also open the saving account as well uh, after some time you can close the account so all those thing of management are basically done through the core banking system then transaction processing uh, in which first is the deposits and withdrawal which handles various types of deposits and withdrawals including saving grant fixed deposit so whatever the cash which you are basically withdrawing from the account or whether you are uh, you are depositing the fund in an account all those things are managed through core banking system then fund transfer uh, facilitate the transfer between accounts both within the same bank and across different bank uh, if the fund transfer within the same bank uh, so it will be called as internal fund transfer and if uh, it is across different banks uh, so that will be called as external fund transfer then loans and uh, credit management uh, in which first is the loan origination which may manages the process of creating and approving loan loan is a complete uh, process in a bank uh, which requires a thorough uh, authentic a thorough verification of the customer and then the loan approved so all those process is basically managed through the core banking system loan repayment attracts loan repayments interest calculations and manages loan accounts like for once you have taken the loan from the bank obviously you have to pay back the loan as well on the installment basis so the installation uh, installment information uh, repayments etc all those things are basically recorded or managed through the core banking system then online banking and mobile banking um, internet banking basically provides a platform for customers to access their accounts make transactions and perform banking activities online uh, friend whenever you are using the internet banking uh, basically it's a portal which you are using for uh, to manage your own account so uh, the uh, system which is behind the internet banking is the core banking system all the information which you are getting from the customer account like his transaction detail his uh, account detail uh, all those information are basically uh, we are getting from the core banking system 
then mobile banking allows customers to use banking services via mobile devices including smartphones and tablets again mobile banking uh, is based on core banking system how because the customer information all the customer information reside in the core banking system and mobile banking is just a channel which is basically getting the information from the core banking system and the users are using uh, the mobile banking to access their account then security and compliance Friend, uh, data security implements uh, different uh, robust security measures to protect customer data and financial transactions and uh, compliance means it ensures adherence to regulatory requirement and compliance standards uh, friend nowadays security and compliance are very very important and uh, it has a major focus uh, in the implementation and uh, core banking system adheres to all the security and compliance standards and implemented as well integration with external system friend uh, payment system uh, are basically connects with uh, it basically connects with national and international payment networks to facilitate electronic fund transfer like the bank basically uh, transferring the funds to other banks uh, outside the country banks as well so how it is basically managing all those things which is basically uh, manages why because it is integrated with other systems as well integration with clearing system uh, friend links it has a link with clearing system for check processing and settlement as well reporting and analytics real-time reporting uh, it generates real-time reports on various aspects including transaction history account balances and financial performance here as well uh, then business intelligence provides tools for uh, data analysis and decision making support here as well so uh, we know that friend uh, lots of lots of data is generating uh, through the in the banks so there is a need of business intelligence so that they can uh, the management can take the decisions as well multi channel banking uh, it coordinates with uh, atms uh, for cash withdrawal deposits and balance inquiries as well ensure seamless communication between different bank branches as well so uh, it's completely uh, integrated with multiple channels as well scalability and flexibility means the it allows the system to handle an increasing number of users and transactions as well it is fully capable uh, for scalability then it can adopt to changes in banking processes uh, products and uh, regulations as well